let us onboard some of the lining service uh, to Azure Arc. So we have already onboarded Windows Service. Now it's time for us to test it with onboarding Linux service. To do that, open up your Azure Arc and go to service. So within the service, you can see here there are two Windows servers we have onboarded already and the current state is showing as a connected, meaning the servers are online and we have a communication enabled between these uh, Arc servers and to the Arc console. Now we will onboard a single server this time uh, with the operating system called Linux. So I'll click on next. I'll choose my resource group in this case and I'll also choose the right region. Uh, when I say right region, the reason being my all log analytics as well as my arc everything is actually relocated to West US 3. So that's why I have to choose the right one, including my automation account is configured into West US 3. Now it's not Windows, this time I would you know choose as a Linux. And you see here there are you know a couple of things that uh, you need to remember. The Linux supported operating system should be selected. So in my case it's a supported uh, Linux which I'm gonna install. And connectivity method, it's going to be public endpoint, not as a proxy server or maybe private endpoint. So in my case, it's public over the internet. It will try to connect and establish the configuration. And make sure that you try to give the proper data center information where your server is located physically. So in my case, I'm just ignoring. And now uh, it is actually giving some kind of script that needs to be onboarded. So if you just go back to the previous here, this entire script, it would prompt you to log in. So this is a single server script, right? Let's say if I want to you know, generate to onboard multiple servers, uh, with this, I simply have to choose, again, similar configuration. This time choosing as a Linux and with US3, public endpoint. And now if you see here, service principle is coming up. So I have already created the service principle so that it has given my a client secret. Uh, if you just see here, we copied that screenshot uh, within the uh, service principle when we created here with the client ID as well as the client secret code. So that would be used here. So again, it's the same as the tags, all of that. Uh, it's going to be a basic script. And once you have this entire script, all you have to do is you have to enter here the principal secret key and that would automatically generate. So in my case, I would simply copy this. So as a first step, I would copy all this uh, except this uh, secret key. So everything gets, you know, copied and then, you know, put it into notepad and later point, add your secret key, uh, which you have already collected for the service principle. And then uh, copy this entire data to your Linux server. So in this case, uh, uh, what I've done is I went to the activities and then here you have a text pad editor and uh, I copy pasted here entire data. Later point, I save this uh, to uh, my home directory uh, with the extension of .sh. So now I have the exact file. Now I'll simply close this and this command prompt uh, which you could enable as a terminal and then simply uh, you could you know put as a su uh, so that it's gonna ask for the root directory password so in my case i can enter like this the password and now this is running with the root now i need to change the directory so that i can call the shell file or sh file uh, which we just created so this is a directory where it has so if i uh, do ls, I should be able to see onboard.sh file. Now I'm gonna make the execution mode. So change mode is going to be execution mode. That is for onboard.sh. And now all I have to do is uh, dot and the slash with the file name. And this should it's showing error with the permissions denial. Let me try another method within this, like within the change method or change mode, user equivalent rwx and the g equivalent r equivalent r 
and the file name is in this case the and now uh, I should be able to execute this file and if you run uh, echo dollar question mark it's going to show you the last uh, execution mode is zero I means it's a success if it is written zero so the code has successfully ran and if I just go back to servers I should be able to see here in a couple of minutes the Linux have also to be in onboarded state also just in case if you're trying to uh, log in with a single script what you could do is um, you could copy the script that is generated single server specific and then save it to Linux box and simply set the permission so in my case for example what I've done is here you see here uh, I have done uh, change mode to u equal length rwx and g comma g equivalent r and o equivalent r with this script name and later point I have executed with a sudo then it is try to connect it it, it moved apparently to the installation mode and uh, it was executing uh, I should be able to see this status very similar to this later point it will actually ask you to you know uh, enter this uh, device uh, point to uh, point to the specific URL uh, for the device login basically it is actually downloaded once it is downloaded it will ask you to you know um, log in with the Microsoft portal uh, with the device ID so in my case uh, here this is where let me show you yeah if you see here this is where it was asking me to you know log in with the Microsoft.com uh, forward slash device login and then enter the code so once I enter the code it has validated and it was completed the installation this is how you should be able to do it for the multi server as well as the and the single server and if I do a quick refresh I should be able to see my server so I can see here the Linux box this is my uh, Linux box name so I should be able to look at here under updates I can simply click on check for updates so this is gonna list all the updates that are currently available for this Linux box